Hi friends, today I will talk about adrenaline. It is also called epinephrine. It is a sympathomimetic agent and it is a FDA approved for various condition like emergency tre treatment of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction like anaphylaxis also used in induction and maintenance of mitriasis during the intraocular surgeries and hypotension due to septic shock. Various off-label uses of adrenaline they are seen in ventricular fibrillation, pulseless ventricular tachycardia, asystole, pulseless electrical activity, croup, uh, severe asthma exacerbation which, are, which is unresponsive to standard treatment. In operation theatre, we also use adrenaline as a local anesthetic block. It is produced by the adrenal medulla and it plays a vital role in the body's acute stress response by stimulate, stimulating the sympathetic nervous system. It is available in ampule uh, of 1 ml which contains 1 mg of adrenaline in dilution of 1 is to 1000. It acts on the alpha and beta receptors. When the alpha 1 receptors are stimulated, it increases the vasoconstriction and peripheral vascular resistance and also decreases the mucosal edema. In smooth muscles, it increases the contraction. It also increases the pupillary dilator muscle contraction and intestinal sphincter muscle contraction. When the beta 2 receptors are stimulated or activated, it results in bronchodilatation and decrease mediator release from the mast cells and the basophil. At low doses, the beta effects are predominant, which leads to vasodilatation, and at high doses, the alpha effects are predominantly seen like vasoconstriction. Other significant effects include increased heart rate, myocardial contractility and renin release by the beta 1 receptors. It is administered as a intramuscular when there is when it is required for treatment of anaphylaxis preferably in the anterior lateral aspect of the thigh. It is also given as a subcutaneous of, uh, uh, route also and for advanced cardiovascular life support, it can be given by intravenously or intraosseous route. Other routes of administration are endotracheal tube when used in neonatal resuscitation and it is also given by nebulization, especially in the pediatric patient. The indications of the adrenaline are bronchial asthma, cardiac arrest, anaphylaxis and bradycardia. In bronchial asthma, when the patient has a severe exacerbation of bronchial asthma which is unresponsive to beta agonist, we can give adrenaline by nebulization. We have to load 0.3 to 0.5 ml of adrenaline from the ampule that is 1 is to 1000 dilution. Take 0.3 ml, 0.3 to 0.5 ml of adrenaline in 1 ml syringe and mix it with 3 to 5 ml of normal saline and give it as a nebulization. In pediatric patient, the dose would be 0 0.01 mg per kg. In cardiac arrest, we use the dilution of 1 is to 10,000. Here we take 1 ml of injection adrenaline in 10 ml of syringe and mix it with 9 ml of 0.9% normal saline to make it as 1 is to 10,000 dilution. So in cardiac arrest, we give this 10 ml of 1 is to 10,000 dilution of adrenaline in 3 to 5 minutes or we can also give as 1 is to 1000 dilution as 1 ml IV followed by 10 ml of normal saline flush. In anaphylaxis, the dose of adrenaline is 0.3 to 0.5 ml of adrenaline uh, that is 1 is to 1000 dilution and it is given as a deep intramuscular. Most preferred site for anaphylaxis is the lateral, lateral aspect of the thigh or we can give subcutaneous injection also. The pediatric dose is 0 0.01 mg per kg body weight. For bradycardia, the adrenaline is given as an infusion that is 2 to 10 microgram per minute infusion. In adults, we can prepare the adrenaline as take 4 ampules of adrenaline 1 is to 1000 dilution and dilute it with 46 ml of 0.9% sodium chloride to make it 50 ml solution 
and it is given as a 2 to 10 microgram per minute. For pediatric group, the dose is 0 0.01 milligram per ml and we have to repeat every 3 to 5 minutes. The various adverse effects seen with the adrenaline are like in CNS, patient may have anxiety, dizziness, nervousness, agitation, headache, Parkinson's disease exacerbation. Cardiovascular effects are arrhythmias, chest pain, hypertension, palpitation, tachycardia, cerebrovascular accidents, ventricular ectopy, vasospasm, tissue ischemia. Various skin changes like gangrene at the injection site, especially in the buttocks, skin necrosis with extra vasation is seen. Endocrine side effects are hyperglycemia, hypokalemia, lactic acidosis, and the gastrointestinal side effects are nausea, vomiting, increase in the liver enzymes like EST and ALT. Neuromuscular changes like tremors, weakness can be seen, and the renal are there is decreased renal perfusion. Patient may have dyspnea, pulmonary edema. The among all the more common side effects they include tachycardia, hypertension, headache, anxiety apprehension, palpitation, diaphoresis, nausea, vomiting, weakness, and tremors. The drug injections are usually seen with the alpha-adrenergic blockers. They antagonize the pressure effects of the adrenaline. Antihypertensive, they antagonize the pressure effects of the adrenaline. Various vasodilators, diuretics, they also block the effects of adrenaline. The beta adrenergy blockers they potentiate the pressure pressure effect of the adrenaline and monoamino oxidase inhibitors and catecholamine o methyl transferase inhibitors they also potentiate the effects of the adrenaline. There is no com absolute contraindication against adrenaline use. However, some relative contraindications they include hypersensitivity to sympathomimetic drugs, closed angle glaucoma, anesthesia with Halothane and another uni unique contraindication is to be aware whenever we are using cat when whenever there is catecholamine uh, catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. This is all about adrenaline. In the next video, I will bring another topic on noradrenaline. Thank you very much.